Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, we are going to be discussing what the heck was that? Um, we are going to be discussing the cause of my seizures from when I had my daughter. So we will be discussing what preeclampsia is. So stay tuned. So guys, pretty much um, when I had Elena, um, I had seizures. And when I was in the ICU, they were monitoring my blood pressure. And the reason they were monitoring my blood pressure was because it was really, really high. Um, and when you're pregnant and your blood pressure is really high, that is um, the first sign of preeclampsia. I have no idea what's going on with my camera right now. Um, really bad headaches such as migraines, blurry vision, um, swelling in your feet and ankles and like your face. So in my case, my face swelled up like a balloon. Like it was so puffy. I had like four chins. Like it was, I, oh my God. My face was even more round than it is right now. And it was so bad, you guys. Um, the part with the swelling, that also goes with the next symptom, which is weight gain. Now, in my case, I was actually losing weight while I was pregnant. But that was only because in gym class, we ran the mile every single day. So I was really fit. I was healthy. But the only thing that was getting, I guess, bigger was my face because of the swelling in my body um my feet I think became a little bit swollen because um when I was in the hospital they were like really red around my ankles and I think I I don't know I'm not really sure if I had known I was pregnant I'm pretty sure I would know more about what was swollen on my body and I would have been able to prevent the seizures um worst case they would have put me on bed rest Sometimes with eclampsia, they have to deliver the baby before 20 weeks if it's that bad. Um, typically, it doesn't really get too bad before the 20-week mark. It usually kind of spikes around the, like, 30 weeks. Um, so, in some cases, they can deliver the baby and have the baby survive. Um, and then in other cases, the baby doesn't survive. But it is dangerous for the mother and the baby. Um, so we're lucky to be here today. It is a really scary thing to actually experience. And I know this sounds like a lot of cases, but there's less than 200,000 cases of preeclampsia in the United States every year. Um, it is actually rare for adults, young adults, teenagers, and children to experience. And the most rare case is with very young children. Um, so people younger than 16, it is really, really, really rare. But for everybody else, it's just rare. So it's not a very common thing. And hospitals might see it, you know, like maybe four or five times throughout the year, um, varying the hospitals of like across the country so it's pretty rare um now because i had to go through all that that means that i am listed as a high-risk pregnancy in their system so if i ever want to have any more children god forbid they will put me on bed rest they will monitor me all the time um i might have more than more checkups than normal for my next child, if I ever have any more kids. Um, so, and it's rare to get it, to go through eclampsia twice. So hopefully I don't have to go through it again. But um, like I said, it's a rare thing. And if you've experienced it once, there's not really much of a possibility that you'll experience it again, but it's, it, it is possible, but not ache. So I shouldn't have to worry about that. <laughs> Um, there's other things I will have to worry about with future pregnancies, obviously. Um, but, you know, hopefully if I ever 
if I ever get pregnant again, they will monitor me and make sure that the baby's okay. And hopefully I never have to lose a child. Hopefully nothing ever happens to any of my future kids like that. And I'm really glad that she um, survived it. And I'm really glad that I survived it because if I hadn't survived it, her dad would have to raise her all by herself. And um, I would never get to watch her grow. So I'm really, <laughs> really thankful for the um, people who s saved me pretty much and the doctor who delivered my baby and I will always remember her. Um, I remember her name, I remember what she looks like. She was a sweet lady. I didn't know her at the time of the delivery. I didn't meet her until way after she was born because like I said in the video about her being born, I wasn't conscious for like a day and a half and I wasn't very like alert I would say for another day because everything was still foggy in my head but the team of paramedics and doctors and surgeons and everybody that took care of me and that took care of her the nurses and the NICU everybody I'm really grateful for everybody so um yeah that's pretty much what Eclampsia is and preeclampsia. Um, so hopefully nobody ever has to go through that. Nobody on here ever has to go through that because it is scary for you and for your family to have to deal with because there's a very good chance that you could lose your child and you could lose yourself. You could lose a loved one, whoever is going through that. There's a very, very high possibility of losing them and it's terrifying. Um, I know my mom has flashbacks of that situation and she is not happy. She cries because it's scary. Um, there was also possibilities of having liver and kidney failure and um, memory loss and um, there's a lot of things that can happen um, if you survive it and luckily I had no liver, kidney failures. I had, um, my, my memory was perfect. I, I didn't have any problems. So that is a positive to that. And um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, comment below. Let me know what you wanna know. And I can, um, and I will reply and I will talk to you more about whatever you're curious about. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys next, well, tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.